Hey guys, welcome to a brand new tutorial in the PC production slime. My name is VK, and today we track motion. Or then we motion track. Either way, it's gonna be super cool. So guys, welcome to After Effects. Today I'm gonna show you how to 3D motion track. So what is 3D motion tracking? As you saw in the opening video, I will use the After Effects inside built on software to track your environment and put text, images, videos, and whatever you adjust your imagining and create to your scene perfectly synchronizing to your own camera motion. It's real straightforward, it's simple, and I will show you how it's done. So once you brought all your footage into, into After Effects, for example here, as you saw in the opening video I had this example while I was just panning around a few of my pictures on my wall. So what I do, I select my clip and then I go to my tracker menu. As you see, if you don't have this tracker menu, it's really easily fixed. You can go to Window and toggle on Tracker. Then your tracker will appear somewhere here and you can move it like this anywhere you want. I will cover that in a later video so keep tuned in for that. How to edit your workspace. So once you got your tracker menu open you can see track camera, track motion, warp stabilizer and stabilize motion. So I talked about track motion or motion tracking but actually we're gonna use the track camera because track motion is for two dimensional tracking track camera is for three dimensional so we click on that and it starts automatically analyzing your clip if it do doesn't go here up on the effect menu and click the button analyze as you can see here it starts to analyze with percentage frame by frame your footage depending on how long your clip is that will take and decide how long it will render and analyze your footage so I'll be back when it's done so guys, as you can see, it's almost done, it's solving the camera, and now when it's done, you can see a lot of different color tracking points all over your clip. So if you're scrubbing through, you can see these points sticking into details and contrast points on your footage. So just shortly from the menu, you can see the track point size, you can edit the size of the tracking points depending on how big you want to see them. I, like, I prefer the 120%-ish. Then I just let's select that once more, and now let's make our track in points. So what we do here, if we want to parent, for example, a text or image in the same level as our our paintings on the wall, we search with this 3D red tracking mark about a plane which is matching the perspective of the painting so if you see here it's matching pretty darn good so when i do a click on it and it will create a, 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 to me three reference points for the track so when i do a, a right click and go and create a text and a camera i will always show a null and a camera if you want to add something other than text but first let me add a text so as you can see here it will appear a text on your clip and if you scrub through it's perfectly tracked. Magic inside software. But let's modify that just a bit. So select your text clip and if you want to move it around, move it around with this 3D anchor point. Don't move it like this, it will screw things up. So uh, let's undo that and let's position with X, Y, Z. I like to put with Z to offset a bit from the camera so when you rotate it really looks like it's not in close with the door so or I mean the wall so not it's not attached to the wall so now it looks like you got some bit space around it that looks cool but I would like to animate it an animation in the with this tra tracking is real simple but for example, if I want to, I want to animate the scale properties, and if I want to, um, it to scale from the middle of the text from around here, but the anchor point is here, so that will do it. It will scale from this point upwards, and that's not what I want. So we're gonna move this anchor point. So go ahead and type in Y on your keyboard. Hit that 
walkie or just hit this button below, beside the camera here on the toolbar. Then what you do is go and grab the Y stick. It's pretty sensitive, so be careful and put it around the middle. So when you're scrubbing it through, you can see it's about in the middle. Now we can go for the text, hit the text and hit S on your keyboard for scale, properties. And because we get pretty exact scale proportions here, so I want to use those, I want to keep this size. So you can modify however you want, but I, I want to keep this, I don't want to mess around with this. So I will do keyframes inverted, so I go for ex just a few frames forward. I hit the stopwatch, then I go backwards, and then I will go and type in zero. Now it disappeared, oh my god. But now when I scrub through, we got my text scaling from the middle. Pretty snappy. But I want to modify this a bit more. So let's go ahead and right click on the first keyframe, go to keyframe assistant and easy ease out. That will do in the animation fast in the beginning and slower in the end. Then I go to the next keyframe and go to keyframe assistant and easy ease. This will create some invisible keyframes for it to smooth out slowly into place so it's really smooth. You can already see the difference, it's pretty darn cool. But let's create some motion blur so it looks more realistic. So we'll hit your text layer, go to here on the box where you can see these three balls, start motion blur, hit that mark, you can see still no difference, but if you activate, activate that on your account like this, you can already see the difference. See when I toggle it on and off? Now it looks really cool. Awesome. So that's how you do text, but if you want to take an image, how does that work? It's pretty similar. So if I just go and close this up, this text, I go to in my image or actually on my video, select the 3D camera tracking, select my cursor tool and take a new track, for example, this one. And then we right click and you can see it's creating text, solids or nulls, not cameras because we already having a camera, so create a null. Now you can take it, go away, and if you hit that null layer, you can see here, on the comp, and it's pretty darn good tracked. So what I just do, I can go ahead to my project and take my logo, for example, right here. It's a little bit too big, so I scale it down just a tiny bit, and then I turn it 3D, then I parent it to the null, and as you can see, it's tracked. And if I want to move it around, I can first rotate it like this. And then let's move it around with these X and Y keys. And your image is tracked to the scene. That is real straightforward guys, hope you guys learned something new, if you like this video, go create on that like button below this video, comment below what you want to see me do next, an effect, a review, a tutorial, whatever you want, just type it down below, I'll see what I can do, and of course, subscribe to the channel and join the brotherhood of VFX here on PC Productions, my name is VK, hope you guys are having a good time, be peaceful, see you guys in the next one.